Hello and welcome back to another video. Liam Manning has been announced as Bristol City's new head coach, replacing Nigel Pearson following his sacking about 10 days ago, which was somewhat controversial. If you haven't seen my video on that, do go and check it out and the vlog that followed against, uh, who do we play? Sheffield Wednesday at the weekend, where we did pick up a 1-0 win via Rob Dickey in Curtis Fleming's only game in charge as interim manager, who has now left the club, uh, the new manager Liam Manninger. Sorry, Liam Manning bringing in his own staff from Oxford from the sounds of it. A three and a half year deal for him. Very, very good. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, it's divided opinion once again on social media. I've seen a few people claiming it's the, it's the cheap option, which it, it quite simply isn't. We've had to buy him out of his contract at Oxford, who were flying high up in second in League One. Um, if we have a quick look here through Liam Manning's career, he started off his managerial career at least. Um, following his retirement as a player at Ipswich Wanderers back in 2010, he became a coach of West Ham's under-23. Sorry if you can hear my dog going off there in the background. Uh, in 2015, where he stayed for four years before moving to Lommel SK over in the uh, Belgian First Division B at the time, where he led the previously bottom of the table side to a third place finish. So he's got a good track record, which he did at Oxford uh, last season as well, of keeping teams up and then kicking them on and having a having a very good solid solid season with them. Uh, and then in August 2021, Manning joined MK Dons, where he, uh, after just 11 league games in charge, was made player of the month for, sorry, manager of the month for September 2021. And I believe MK Dons did go on to get the uh, finish in the playoffs. It did. They finished third place with 89 points. Just reading this off of his Wikipedia here, um, and got playoff qualifications where they did, however, lose in the final to Wickham over two legs, uh, which is a shame. A shame from their point of view, I suppose. But then he uh, he did get sacked in the following December, just over or sorry, just under a year ago, uh, on the 11th of December 2022, during the World Cup break, uh, having accumulated just 15 points on 20 games with MK Dons, leaving them in the relegation zone. So that is a bit of a blot on his CV. But other than that, it's a very solid CV. Obviously, he's had a good season with Oxford last year, having kept them up the back end last season with a very very strong run of results towards the end of the year and was recently named uh, Manager of the Month, sorry, at the back end of that season. So, yeah, I'm happy. He plays sort of a high-pressing, high-possession style of football, so not too dissimilar to Pearson, I suppose, on that front. Uh, and Fleming from his game on Saturday, where I believe we had 60 or 70% of the ball uh, against Sheffield Wednesday. So overall, I'm very happy with it. Um, like I said, it's divided, it's divided opinion a little bit on social media. There were other names sort of flying around, such as Frank Lampard, John Eustace, obviously both out of work at the moment. But I like the fact that we've not just gone for one of these managers who's out of work. We've gone with someone who is doing well at Oxford. We've shown a bit of ambition getting him in. He's obviously only been there sort of, what, eight months, I suppose, just shy of eight months. So not Oxford for too long, but Oxford fans are really, really pleased with him, or well, the time he spent at the club at least. Um, and best of luck to them for the rest of the season as well. I'm sure a few Oxford fans are watching this. Let me know your thoughts on him. Leave it down in the comments below. And if you're a City fan as well, of course, leave your comments uh, thing, or oh, sorry, your thoughts in the comments below ours to uh, his appointment and how you think we're going to get on for the rest of the season. Obviously, his first game is going to be at QPR at Loftus Road this weekend. I will be there. There will be a vlog, so make sure you subscribe to the channel for that one. And in terms of his assistants, it hasn't actually said who it is yet. I'm going to try and work out. I presume it's the ones that came with him or have come with him from Oxford, but I can't find anywhere who that actually is, unfortunately. But I'm sure they're very good. Um, it's a bit of a shame for Oxford fans, I'm sure they're, they're not going to be best pleased that all of their, or a good chunk of their coaching team, or the key figures at least in their coaching team, are going to be leaving midway through the season whilst they're in a promotion race, but such is life I suppose. Um, it's Yeah, it's, it's a nice it's a nice change of direction almost I suppose from Pearson who was your, your kind of safe bet when we appointed him back um, after Dean Holden left in February of 2021. Um, he was a safe bet, he, he was what we needed massively at the time, of course, and arguably still need now to a degree. He, you know, I don't think he should have been sacked, I said that in my previous video. If you haven't seen it, do go and check it out, I'll leave it linked up there. But, um, but it, he, look, he's gone now, it's time to move on. Liam Manning is in charge, the new era starts on Saturday at Loftus Road, and hopefully we can pick up a win there. And I'd like to think we back him financially in January with a bit of luck. Maybe you could bring in the likes of Cameron Brannigan, from uh, Oxford, obviously he's got that link. We've recently signed Mark Sykes and Rob Atkinson from Oxford as well, so the links between the club are clearly very strong. Rob Dickey, formerly of Oxford as well, before he went to QPR. So I'm very, very happy with it. Like I said, uh, make sure you leave your thoughts down in the comments below. Uh, tweet me with some thoughts as well. I put a poll out on Twitter, seeing who agrees with it, who doesn't. Who would have rather had Frank Lampard? Would you have rather had John Eustace? Who knows? Personally, Lap Manning was always one of my first choices, alongside Dean Smith, um, which seemed a little bit far-fetched, I guess. 
But uh, but yeah, very, very happy. Very, very solid appointment. Young, high pressing, exciting manager for me. One of the most exciting managers in the EFL, arguably. And hopefully, hopefully we can get off to a winning start at QPR, where Quifentes, I believe his name was, or Quifentes, will be having his first home game in charge of QPR as well after they picked up a one or draw at Rotherham in his first game. So the clash of the new managers on Saturday at Loftus Road. Make sure you're there. There's a few more tickets remaining. Let's get another sold out away. And Southampton's just sold out at the end of the month as well. So I'll see you at all of those games in the near future. But for now, bye.